Hello, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minimath, and today we're going to factor again, but a different expression, x squared minus x minus 12. It is again in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where our a value is 1. Our b value here is negative 1, the coefficient in front of x, and our c value is negative 12. Okay? Negative 12. So, I'm going to set up my parentheses here, x and x. And I want to ask myself the question, what two numbers multiply to be negative 12, but add it to be negative 1? What makes this easier to see is taking 12 and breaking it up into uh, the two numbers that multiply to equal 12, all the different options. That would be 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Together, all those pairs are the, all the whole numbers, okay, or the integers, that will multiply to equal 12. Now, we know 12 has to be negative, okay, negative, so one of these numbers is going to have to be negative, and when we add them together, we have to get a negative 1. Since that adding is a negative 1, the negative is going to go on to the larger side, all right, the 12, 6, or 4, are larger when we add it together because negative 4 plus 3 would give me that negative 1. Six, uh, negative 6 plus 2 gives me negative 4. And negative 12 plus 1 gives me negative 11. But I've already said the answer here. Negative 4 plus 3 gives me a negative 1. And together would multiply to be a negative 12. So I said negative 4 and a positive 3. And together those two numbers would add to be a negative 1. But multiply to be a negative 12. So... Let's check our work and see if it actually comes full circle. Okay, so I check here, multiply the first two parts together, I let get an x squared. Then I take the x times the 3 and get a positive 3x. Negative 4 times x is a negative 4x. And negative 4 times 3 is a negative 1. Now I have x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 1. 3x minus 4x gives us a negative x minus 1, comes down, and the x squared comes here. Now, everyone has plus and minus x, but we know that's going to be the same thing as subtracting an x, and there we go. Our check is correct.